This one was hard. Yeah. And yeah, I was again wrong about Ronin. I said it's not as good or fun or maybe, you know, no. It'll remind you of Assassin's Creed. Literally, I'm not kidding. This is like a mixture of several other games. Open world, running around like the samurai, um, Genghis Khan thing. Then you have the horse ride, just like Red, uh, did, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Then the Assassin's Creed style. Literally going on top, climbing up, and then uh, I think uh, gliding down somehow. Just a little bit of it. And yeah, some missions are difficult, like this one. I'm stuck in this, and I thought, is there a way to get out of it? Because I can't beat this guy. His level is up, higher than me. So I realized, yeah, there's a way. You can go to the system, uh, quit the current whatever mission. Now I can go back. Guess what I did? I want to level up. So I literally went everywhere else to play all the side missions. Right? There are a lot of side missions, which are really fun. So I thought, why not just do all the side missions, level up, gain strategies, whatever, then go back and fight that uh, boss, right? I mean, this is actually, I'm just starting. It's almost three, four hours in the game, and there's a lot of map to cover, okay? Like I mentioned, look at this. This will remind you of Assassin's Creed and quite a few things, all right? It has a grappling hook. Look at the map here. Literally, yeah? If, they, if I could drive around, that would remind you of Mafia. <laughs> so it's like a mixture of a couple of games. And I guess most of the games that come out are very similar. Like they will always remind you of some of the games that you played. See the horse riding here? You whistle, the horse comes, just like Red uh, Dead Redemption. So, so far so good. And yes, I was wrong. It's a little... It's challenging at times. A little slow-paced at times, again. Because you're running around, blah, blah, blah. I wish this had the online mode so I could partner up. I think they they have one. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Initially, I said, yeah, this is kind of straightforward. Nothing much to know. And there are a lot of cats that you can go and collect, pet, <laughs> around the whole entire city, the map. It just, I don't know why. This is one of the side missions, basically. So yeah, just wanted to give you a tw uh, quick two cents. Then I initially said, no, nah, you know, I take my words back. I like the bosses. See this? Also has a sneak attack, just like Assassin's Creed. Same button, triangle, sneak attack from the back. Stealth attack, stealth attack. You can also get on top of the, the places, jump on them. And several, certain other things. I'm, I still haven't unlocked a lot of stuff, my skills, basically. My shurikens. I have the gun, which is pretty decent. You can blow the opponent's head off. If you are, if you can, if you really aim straight, you can actually blow it off. The black jewel. So I, I played an hour earlier today. I just wanted to take a break from some, you know, other things, and I'm like, dude, this is fun. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> and then, Mission complete. Finally, I got the merchant some stuff. Remember, Assassin's Creed has um, one version where it was um, in Britain. All the uh, popular figures were there. Lincoln was there. Or, I don't know, some other. This also has similar... Here, Marcus Samuel. Very similar sense. Like, very, like I mentioned, mixture of certain games. So, so far, I would give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, for sure. Overall. Right? I love it. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, keep gaming. And uh, let me know, what should I play next? Oh, I haven't finished Cell Blade. Neither have I finished Wukong. Yeah, I have to keep up with that as well. Alright, I'm out. <laughs>